did you ever think that you would play one test match, let alone 99? No, it's pretty insane, uh, X man. Uh, I think uh, I was going down memory lane. Uh, I think uh, last week, just thinking about all the, you know, all those moments uh, right in the, in the beginning of my career. And I remember coming to, you know, to the Sharks Academy just as an eager young man and uh, just uh, wanting to impress the coaches and, uh, you know, g uh, get a spot in the Sharks team. Mm -hmm. And that was all uh, I was thinking about at the time. And and uh, it's just amazing. And our know, life is full of surprises. And uh, yeah, I'm just overwhelmed right now. Who was it uh, who made that crucial call for you and said, no, this guy is not a loose forward, he's not a number eight? Jeez, I, I remember that moment. Uh, it was uh, Dick Muir. He called me in his office. I was playing for the under-21s uh, in the Curry Cup uh, as a loose forward. Uh, a stroke lock, lock as well. So, <laughs> yeah, it was quite funny. So he called me in and he's like, uh, Beastie, you know, I really like the way you play. And uh, but I don't think I uh, see you making it as a loose forward. Uh, I think if you convert to the front row and become a lucid prop, uh, uh, that change could be really great for you. And who knows, you could become a springbok. And uh, in that very moment, I, I didn't believe him. I was very angry and <laughs> upset because you know I'd been working my whole career since uh, as a schoolboy mm. and uh, playing in the back row. So I always saw myself playing there forever. So here was somebody trying to challenge me and uh, make me change my, you know, just my, my body shape and everything. And yeah, so it was a, it was, it was a real big challenge, yeah. but I really embraced it and I saw it as an opportunity. Is there a bit of a surreal sense that you get when you think about this coming weekend? And I, I know you're a pro, Beast. You're not thinking about the 100th cap. Mm -hmm. um, but to look around the squad and realize that you're the most capped and the most senior player in the team. Yeah, no, obviously it does hit me a couple of times, but I think for me, I'm just trying to, uh, you know, focus on doing my job. You know, that's the biggest way I can uh, um, uh, just be an example to the guys around me. You know, not just the number of caps I have behind me, because uh, at the end of the day, that doesn't mean nothing if I don't do my job on, on the field. I have to lead by example and really work harder than ever now, because you know we got we are on a mission. And uh, so I really have to play my part, and in doing so, uh, that's you know that's that's the biggest role I can play as as a senior player in the team. Do do you ever get that sense that um, Africa has always been rooting for you? No, certainly. Uh, um, it's, it's it's really humbling. I think you know all over Africa, uh, people really rally behind me and really support me. And I think you know from the very start, uh, you know, when I was in Zimbabwe as a young boy. I, I never thought in my wildest dreams that I'd be on this platform. So all I did was just, yeah, you know, and just work hard and uh, just had a dream. And I really dreamed big that I, you know, I believed in my potential. And just had, you know, mentors come around me and really tell me that, hey, you just you've got to keep on working hard and know that, you know, the sky's not even the limit. So that's what I did. And then just, yeah, just having so much people, so many people coming around now and just saying, hey, you know, we look up to you. You are an example, and you know it defied the odds. You know it was above your circumstances. You know it's really something special. And I think for myself, it's not just about me; it's bigger than me. You know, it's about the whole of Africa, just being a, a shining light and showing that you know you can make it no matter where you come from. So that's my that's the you know the biggest legacy I want to leave behind. You know, and just you know impart that knowledge into the next generation. That you know, dream big, chase your dreams, work hard, and yeah, yeah. Who knows, you could be sitting right in front, in front of you one day, and you're 100, 100 caps here. Obviously, there's more to rugby than just running out on uh, a pitch and playing 80 minutes. Um, I'm sure you look at your wife, you look at your kids, and you realize that, that this game has given me so much than just the ability to be an athlete and um, be a rugby player. There's a lot more that you have drawn from it. No, certainly there's a... As a, you know, as a whole lot as a, as, as a person I've, I've learned over the years you know, and the game has been great to me you know, it really changed my life from the onset and I came here with nothing as a young man and uh, you know, my, my mom and dad did their best to set me up in life, me and my siblings you know, they really you know, just you know, bend their, their, their backs backwards for us and uh, you know, they, they, they did everything so when I came over and I had nothing and I really just wanted to make it and then just, uh, you know, have a better life. And, and rugby did that for me. And, and in the end, like, you know, the Sharks, 
uh, you know, have been so so good to me, and Durban itself, just the love and I felt from the people, yeah. it's just been really overwhelming. And so, definitely, when I look at my, you know, my wife and my kids, I'm so grateful because they also feel, you know, the love and uh, and and the change that has happened to me over the years, and just you know what the this amazing game has done for us. So, I think for myself, it's just all about now giving back give it back to the game you know that's my biggest my biggest dream and uh, I think in the next couple of years maybe one day when I hang my boots I'm certainly going to make it a thing to you know to go out there and, and, and be an ambassador for the game and grow the sport all over all over the world. Tender you're a top top man. <laughs> Thanks X-Man.